Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining our WNCT Now Early Afternoon News Update. I'm Kelsey O'Donnell, broadcasting live from our digital studio. We'll begin our afternoon update locally. American Airlines announced it's suspending service to the Pitt Greenville Airport beginning in October. It's part of the airline's plan to drop service to 15 smaller city airports due to economic hardship from COVID-19. American executives say the suspension is a result of low demand and the expiration of federal air service requirements tied to the CARES Act. This is the first step as American continues to evaluate its network and plans for additional schedule changes in the upcoming weeks. Service will stop on October 7th and executives say service could resume as early as November 3rd. Third, but it will depend on the company's reassessment of its plans and whether or not it will get more federal stimulus funds. In other news, emergency officials and state highway patrol are investigating after a propane truck flipped over near Aiden this morning. Green County emergency crews were called to Willow Green Road around 8.30 this morning. They found the tanker overturned, yet say it's not leaking any of the flammable gas or posing a threat to neighbors. The tanker driver was sent to Vidant Medical Center with minor injuries. Part of the Willow Green Road is blocked while crews investigate and remove the gas and truck. They're still not sure why the tanker is overturned. Looks like we've got some rain to round out your work week. Our first alert meteorologist Alex Wasilenko joins us with the weather update. Happy Thursday, everybody. I'm your First Alert meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko, reporting from the First Alert Weather Center on yet another active day across eastern North Carolina. We are keeping tabs on a stationary front that will not budge today. In fact, it'll be the instigator and trigger for some scattered showers and storms. Some of those storms could become strong to severe while packing a punch with heavy rainfall, gusty winds, small hail, and the possibility of an isolated tornado. The shower and thunderstorm coverage will begin to dwindle as we move into the late evening and overnight. It will leave behind some mostly cloudy skies and patchy dense fog to contend with for that Friday morning commute into school and work. Otherwise, during the day Friday, that stationary front, well, it'll do what it does best and stall on out for yet another day, leading to another round of showers and storms by Friday afternoon and Friday evening. To track those showers and storms today through the end of the work week, do be sure to download that free First Alert weather app. There is a great interactive radar that you can track those storms as they enter your neck of the woods. Your seven-day inland forecast calling for the return to scattered showers and storms on Friday. We'll call it a 50-50 shot to wrap up the work week as we head into the weekend and that stationary front finally begins to budge off to the east. It'll linger some showers and storms into the forecast for the first half of the weekend. The second half of the weekend for both inland and coastal communities looking nicer with partly cloudy skies expected, an outside chance of a shower or storm, and seasonably hot highs back into the low 90s Sunday. Even along the coast, we'll see temperatures rise back into the upper 80s Sunday afternoon. We'll steady things out through the middle and upper 80s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week as a large ridge of high pressure overtakes the forecast. That's going to mean lots of sunshine and much drier weather for the early parts of next work week. Stay dry, remain weather aware, and don't forget that rain gear this afternoon and evening. Make it a wonderful little Friday, everybody. I'm your First Alert Meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko. Oh, yes, I forgot. Little Friday. We're almost there towards the weekend. Thank you, Alex. We are continuing to track coronavirus numbers across the state of North Carolina. Let's go ahead and look at take a look at some of the numbers for today. The statewide case count is approaching 150,000, while the death toll has passed 2,400. More than 1,000 people are currently hospitalized. Meanwhile, Pitt County commissioners now have a mask man mandate for all county facilities. It requires county employees and visitors to wear face masks while inside county-owned buildings. Employees could face disciplinary action for not wearing a face covering. However, people in private areas can work without one. Now, community members who don't comply could also be charged with trespassing. This will wrap up our early afternoon news update. We'll see you back here at 4 p.m. Thanks for watching.